Hi guys! Welcome to the cooking show. In this video, I'll be showing my top 5 picks for magic attack food, which would be best for those classes that mainly utilize magic damage. Cooking and eating food before farming is a must as the various effects greatly affect our farming efficiency. There are a lot of food for magic attack, but I've selected my top 5 which offer the best effects specifically for farming. In addition, I'll be showing where to hunt for the various rare ingredients that we will need. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with a relatively easy one, the fantasy salad. You would need the frying cookware and the following ingredients. Mountain celery, Southgate carrot, salt, and milk. The Southgate carrot along with the other primary ingredients can be purchased for the primary ingredients NPC. The salt and milk and the other spices later on can be purchased from the material shop NPC. And finally, the mountain celery and other rare ingredients can be purchased for the rare ingredients NPC. However, note that there is a daily limit for the purchase of rare ingredients. Thus, later on, I'll show you guys where we can farm our ingredients. Going back to the fantasy salad, this will give us plus 30 magic attack and less 1.5% cast delay for each stack. If we have 6 stacks of fantasy salad, we would have an additional 180 magic attack and less 9% cast delay. Among the food that I'll be featuring today, this would be the easiest to cook. In addition, the rare ingredient, mountain celery, would be the easiest to farm compared to other ones later on. However, just note that when you first cook this, the success rate will be low. But as you cook it more often and as your cookbook level increases, the success rate will become higher. Next, we have forest treasure which will give higher magic attack and more cast delay reduction. You would need the frying cookware and the following ingredients. Mountain celery, Southgate carrot, sugar, and chili. At 6 stacks, we'll have additional 192 magic attack and less 10.5% cast delay. Similar to fantasy salad, this will only require one rare ingredient, the mountain celery. However, since this is a 4-star food, the success rate may be lower when you first cook this food. The next 3 food are also 4-star food, which may have lower success rates at first. But then again, with repeated cooking and higher cookbook level, our success rate will gradually increase. Next, another food for magic attack and cast delay reduction is the sweet coriander. You would need the frying cookware and the following ingredients. Bamboo eggplant, mountain celery, sauce, and cream. This increases magic attack by 36 and at the same time reduces cast delay by 2%. Thus, at 6 stacks, you will receive plus 216 magic attack and 12% cast delay reduction. However, the recipe requires two rare ingredients, the bamboo eggplant and the mountain celery. Thus, this may require more time for us to hunt for ingredients. Next, we have the noble black tea. You would need the smoothie cookware and the following ingredients. Goblin strawberry, pouring apple, sugar, and vanilla. Instead of cast delay reduction, this food features added magic penetration which means our magic attack will ignore a certain percentage of the target's defense and deal more damage. Drinking this tea before farming will give plus 32 magic attack and plus 1.75% magic penetration. At 6 stacks, we'll have a total of 192 magic attack and 10.5% magic penetration. The only rare ingredient in this recipe is a goblin strawberry. Last but definitely not the least, we have the Summer Star. You would need a smoothie cookware and the following ingredients. Moai melon, goblin strawberry, cream, and cheese. This cooked food increases magic attack by 36 and magic penetration by 2%. So at max 6 stacks, you'll have a total of 216 magic attack and 12% magic penetration. However, this 4-star food will require 2 rare ingredients and will have low success rates if the cooking level is low. So again, practice makes perfect. You guys would notice that I did not include any 5-star food as those are difficult to cook and would need 4 rare ingredients. For efficiency purposes, I think the aforementioned food would be relatively easier to cook but will still get the job done. Now that we have identified our recipes, let's find out where we can farm our rare materials. Again, we can purchase rare materials for the rare ingredients and PC. However, there is a daily purchase limit. In order to hunt for rare ingredients ourselves, we would need the shelf's eagle eye and target specific mobs to get ingredients. Note that you can still get ingredients even if you have consumed your combat time. For our magic attack rare ingredients that we have featured earlier, 
We have the mountain celery, which can be obtained from the flora in the Molnir Mountains. You can also get this from the orc zombie found in the orc dungeon. Next, we have the bamboo eggplant, which can be obtained from the greatest general found in the Pion Forest or Pion South. You can also get this from the incubus found in Glassheim. Next, we have the goblin strawberry, which can be obtained from the cobalt hammer found in the court forest. And finally, we have the moai melon, which can be obtained from the golem found in Morak. You can also get this from the Rajik found in the Glassheim Chivalry. Alright, now we know the different magic attack recipes and where to get rare ingredients. I hope this video was helpful in giving you a few choices to boost your magic damage. Again, there are a lot of magic attack food, but I've handpicked a few that I think would be good options. If you guys have other recipes to share, please comment your favorites down below. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.